he just doesn't fit in. He doesn't even really respect himself. Flick chooses not to accept that. It's about time somebody talked about a bug's life and how it reveals so much about our relationships and, and really how it reveals so much about attachment. Now in a bug's life, you've got the ant named Flick, who's a little bit of a weird outcast for his group. They don't necessarily hate him, but he just doesn't fit in and he's not accepted and he doesn't feel like part of the group. He's got some attachment issues there and he's not sure what to do about him. He just doesn't fit in. And then you've got the grasshoppers led by, I believe his name is Hopper. Inventive. Hopper comes in and he and his pack are attacking. And this is a retelling of Kurosawa's Seven Samurai is what this film is. So Flick is not putting up with what's happening. The rest of them are like, dude, you're going to mess everything up for us. It's going to be terrible. Flick chooses not to accept that. And he pushes. He wants something better. And he's got very little to lose because he's not connected to his group. He doesn't even really respect himself because he hasn't really received love or acceptance from other people. And that mirrors a lot of broken attachment for all of us. That struggle is attachment. He goes out in the world and he finds the seven samurai bugs who happen to not be samurai in this case. They all are misfits who also then come in and feel like frauds. And they have to hide that from people and hide who they are. And they're trying to just play them to get this game. And, and they think it's one thing and then it turns out to be a different and they have to keep the secret. And this is a big game of attachment issues and lies and acting upon each other. Acting upon each other is the heart of really bad attachment. Whether someone has a full on diagnosable attachment issue or if they just are acting upon other people because they're used to being acted upon. And there's a lot of acting upon each other in this film. Now, how does that get fixed? Flick starts working together with them. He builds self-respect for the team. He builds self-respect for himself. And he starts working past all of those things to work with other people to overcome the danger of another crew who's coming in and acting upon his people, the grasshoppers. So he pushes them back. He unifies everybody through acceptance, through love, through mutual care. And he unifies everybody with good attachment to push back and to stop the manipulation and the being acted upon from the outside. Now in doing this, Flick applies healthy attachment as a solution for the threats to his society. And that, that is a great message. I love that. And that's what I love so much about A Bug's Life. If you've seen this in the film, and if you've seen these attachment pieces, or if you're just discovering it, drop me a comment below and let me know because I wanna hear about it. And if you have had struggles like Flick has, if you've been challenged in that way, check out my attachment bootcamp course. It's got everything inside to show you how to start respecting yourself, building connections with your community, and maybe help some people who need you too.